Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at William Byron's 2023 Phoenix race win. This was his first win of the season, first of six. Um, and yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it here today. Uh, so we've got the Valvoline paint scheme, all that. We'll go ahead and slide that off to the side though and start with our box. So we have the NASCAR uh, 75th anniversary logo here, but it is the elite box. This car or this box represents all elites. Every elite will come in this style box. Um, the only thing different, it'll be this tag. This one says obviously the Valvoline Phoenix win, one of 399. Pretty high number for elite actually. That's a pretty good number. Um, and that'll be it. Everything else is the same on all the elite boxes. Now, it does come with a couple of inserts, first of which William Byron United Rentals uh, Work United 500 winner, March 12th. Uh, flip it around, you can see he started third on the day, led 64 laps, five cautions for 35 laps, including the one that probably took away Kevin Harvick's final career win. Harrison Burton ran out of talent for like the billionth time. And I'm frustrated. I know there's a Harrison Burton fan that watches this stuff, but look, this race was Kevin Harvick's to win. And man, to have Harrison Burton just run out of talent and that's what cost him the race, that sucked. Um, so anyway, I feel for you Harvick fans. This was definitely a race he should have had won. Um, also, we do have the race win sticker with the NASCAR 75th logo in there, as well as the new outline around it, which I think is really cool. Also, we do have, or... I have. This is not what comes with the car. This is on the Iowa's ad. The United Rentals pin from Phoenix Raceway. So that's what that looks like. The two pins on the back. But yeah, that's what the official event pin looks like. You can find the pins at rasdiecast.com. I also have a number of other pins from the 2023 season. So you can go check those out if you're looking to add one to a race win of your favorite driver. Uh, now let's go ahead and get on to the car because this car is something, I don't want to say super unique because it's not crazy. But it definitely has a, a couple of really neat parts of it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So it is the Valvoline car. You can see on the left side here where we've got our stripes, our number 24 in the yellow. Uh, the yellow is probably the biggest factor um, to this that I really like. The 24 has been a number of different colors outside of Jeff Gordon. And I think the yellow is just the best color. We got Valvoline here, Exalta, Liberty. Uh, you can see those three stripes again. We got the exhaust, the jack post. Uh, there you can see the pink tape on the different spokes, yellow on these spokes, flip it around to the right side, pink on the back, yellow on the front. I noticed that also with his uh, Vegas win, so that just must be something they were doing. Two winner sticker there, two. I got, oh, hmm. I thought this was his first win. I guess Vegas was, so I guess Phoenix was after Vegas, so I thought it was the second one, or this was the first one, but I guess I was off. Anyway, so two winner stickers. We've got uh, the HendrickCars.com. You can see the roof flaps do pop open there. We got a little bit of confetti. It's green, white, and yellow. Kind of a weird mix of colors considering United Rentals is not really any of those colors except for a little bit of the white. Um, it's a little weird for sure. Uh, as we go to the back though, we got the original motor oil, Valvoline. Valvoline trusted here on the back as well. We've got the correct size spoiler there. We pop that open yeah, if it wants to pop open. Come on now. There we go. Now it's open. The fuel cells in there. Hard to see though. Uh, these have a really short deck lid, so we got Valvoline there. You can see the red, the pink tape again. There's our number 24. And then we go back around to the nose, and it is actually pretty dirty. So that's the nice thing about a white paint scheme. It shows every little speck of dirt, and it looks pretty good. We do have a tiny bit of confetti kind of sprinkled about. Also, this is the first time we'll see this. That's the windshield um, wiper mount. It was not on the car because it was, you know, short track but it had the option they could mount it in real quick and then it could have the thing if, if quote unquote, they decide to race in the rain. So uh, posable front wheels, functioning rear suspension, all those different little tidbits. Um, carbon fiber on the splitter, you can kind of see that design down there along with these yellow tips. So those are kind of a thing that I've noticed on the Hendrick cars. They have those little yellow tips on the, on the splitter there. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much all there is to show on this die cast. There is also the 164th available. They did start putting confetti on there on the windshield banners and stuff. So it does look really, really similar instead of last time where you'd have these cars with tons of confetti and then just a blank windshield. So it is cool that they finally were able to get these race wins to have that, you know, confetti and banner matching um, at least as close as they can. So I, I definitely appreciate that. But uh, you can pick this up in both ARC Elite, I think the, the or sorry, Elite and 164th. I believe the ARCs are already sold out for me. Um, that doesn't mean you can't find them anywhere. They're just, I think I'm already sold out. But you can find what you're looking for at rasdiecast.com. 
feel free to shoot me an email. If something is not in stock that you are looking for, shoot me an email. I can try to find it, or at worst, I can at least explain where I could, uh, what what it would take to get a hold of one if you're looking hard for it. So, I know Christmas is around the corner, so uh, I know there's going to be some wish list items that people are looking for. But uh, anyway, guys, that'll pretty much wrap up the review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Turn on the bell and subscribe. This has been Race Craze. We'll see you in the next one.